Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to do a voiceover recording in Adobe Premiere Pro. So this is actually really simple to do in Premiere, but it's really, really powerful because a lot of things have voiceover. Basically anything that doesn't have music is gonna have a voice over it. And so a lot of times you wanna be able to add that in. Instead of recording it in another software and then bringing it in, you can do it right in Premiere Pro. So let's get started and I'm gonna be showing you how to add some audio by just speaking into a mic right to your Premiere Pro project. So the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure the mics are set up correctly. So we're going to go over here to edit and then down to preferences and then audio hardware. Now there's kind of two ways of doing this. So I'm going to be doing like the overarching, which is the defaults. And then we can go like per audio track down here. So the defaults up here, we're going to have some default inputs and a default output. The output is actually going to be playing while you're speaking. So whenever I say something, it's going to be playing right back to me. And then we have our microphone right up here. And then you could change these around to whatever you want them to be. So once you get the default input and then where you want the audio to be outputting, maybe it's your headphones, anything like that, you're basically fine. Um, the master clock is usually going to be what the output is. So just keep that you know, right there unless you want to change it because you know you need to change it. And the next step we can do is we can go right down here and we can right click on this and we can go to voice over record settings. And you'll see right here that as I'm talking, this is the mic recording and I use OBS to record. So you can see that it's also recording right down here. So it's using the exact same mic on both of them. But when I click away, you'll notice that it does, it stops recording over here. But right when I click back, then it reactivates the mic for over here. And I am recording in this sort of this project right here. And this is a good way to check levels as well. And you can change the input from right here. So the default, these are all going to be assigned the default inputs. You can change the input right here. However, if you want to, you know, attach a couple different mics doing a couple different things, maybe one's a guitar, maybe one's your, your mouth, you can kind of record them like that. So then right here is our pre-roll and our post-roll, and that's just going to give us a countdown beforehand so we get, you know, ready. We can get everything set up the way we want to before we start talking. Maybe we can, like, move the keyboard or something. We can increase this time by dragging it. That would be a really, really long pre-roll, but if you need 56 seconds, you can do it. So we're going to drop that back down to three. Let me enter the three right there. And then the post-roll is how long it'll do afterwards so you can kind of close out. So now that we're ready to go, all we have to do is click this button right here, the voice over record. If you don't see the voice over record button, right click right here, go to customize, and you'll see all the buttons come up, sort of like how we can customize up here. Just click on this and drag it in, and you'll have this. So for example, uh, if that wasn't there, you just like, uh, let's see what is in there. We can drag that over, and you see how it added the track volume in there? That's all you gotta do is click this and drag it in, and it'll add that button for you, and you'll be good to go. Click OK. And now you will have the voice over record button. And then you see that, that it has the little level thing that I just added. So whatever you add to it, it'll be right here. And then all you gotta do is click this button. I'm gonna go ahead and mute myself because otherwise we're gonna get this really bad echo from what I'm recording here. So I'm gonna talk into the mic and Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe, well, my bad, gotta wait for the pre-roll. Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here and I am recording a, actually two audio tracks at the same time right now, which is kind of interesting. Once you're done, click stop button and it's just going to kill it right there now you can go right here and let me turn this audio back up so you can hear what it was like and I'm going to be quiet now so this isn't me speaking this is the recording going right here hey what's up everybody Adobe Masters here and I am recording a actually two audio tracks at the same time right now which is kind of interesting once you're done click and you see right there and now you you see that it kind of died for a second you're like why on earth did it just cut off because I said, and you'll see right now, and then it cuts off there. And that is what our pre, our post roll is. So if you go back in the voiceover settings, the post roll, it's going to have a two second dead zone, which means once you're done speaking, wait two seconds and then kill the audio. So that is basically the last important point on that. This, other than that, this is really, really simple to do. All you got to do is just make sure your mics are configured a little bit and then get in here and you can just start talking and recording into it and then doing any other effects and stuff. This is now an audio file that you can do. You could highlight both of these, right click and link them. And now it's like they were brought in together. They'll move around, they'll be one file together. That is gonna be it on this tutorial. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you got any questions or comments or future su or suggestions for future tutorials, go ahead and throw those in the comment section below. If you wanna see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until next time guys, see ya.